Hey everyone, it's Jake from Diesel Smart. I want to show you some looms that we've got on stock to make your tuning world easier. So these looms are particularly made for the Alien Tech tools. Uh, look at your K-Tag, it's the older version of Alien Tech, as well as your new KISS 3 system. Right. Now this particular loom is used in the EDC 16 C41 ECU. Now this ECU is extremely common. It is well used in Australia in the Nissan Patrol, the three litre common rail. Now, what happens is people put brake boosters, oh, brake boosters, sorry, brake systems as well as CB radios, everything up on where you gotta pull the fucking panel off of the steering wheel there to actually access the ECU, right? And it can take time. And we all know in the tuning world, time is money. So what we've designed is an easy, simple way to pull the ECU file out of the car without actually pulling the ECU out of the car. Of course, this one's out of the car, so it's easier to show you. Um, as well as we test every loom before it goes out. So that you know when you're plugging it in, that the positive and negative is the correct way. Because we don't want any smoke coming out of those ECUs. Now, it's quite simple. So when you bought your Alien Tech tool, you'd have a, an extension cable for power. Now this allows you to connect it to the battery, which gives you 12 volts. So it'll actually plug into the back of your system, whether it be the new system, or whether it be the K-Tag, it'll plug into it. Okay, so that's how you get power to the system to power it up. But if you're doing it on the bench like we are, we've obviously got a power station. So that plugs directly into the Alien Tech. Okay? So now what we'll do is we'll show you with the new software. Right, we're gonna find the vehicle. We can search up Nissan Patrol, etc. But as we all do, we search by ECU, so EDC 16, C41. Yep, and then we'll click on it. Continue. And then you've got boot mode. Now boot mode is when you need to open the actual ECU. This one's not out of a patrol, this one's out of an Amarok. But just for reference to show you, you have to physically open the ECU to grab the file out, which is obviously takes time, and time is money. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in service mode, which is this one here. Continue. Uh, we don't need to see the manual. The only time we ever really need to see the manual is if we're pinning it out the front, which we might just quickly show you. Okay. So that's, there's a couple of different, that's the C36, uh, and we want obviously the C41 for the patrol. Okay, that's how you would pin it out if you didn't have our wiring harness, right? Which means you've got to remove the ECU out of the car. Okay, but once we've got the wiring harness all plugged in, we'll click identify on the actual software to identify the ECU, make sure everything's happy. Obviously having 12 volts, of course, into the back of the system. And you can actually see the tool is reading all the data, which I love these lights. Yes, you did have them on the back of the older system but it's much better to see it like that. I've had this system for an extremely long time and it's still my original system and it's never let me down. Yep, now that we've identified the ECU, we've got a software number, it doesn't really give you a lot. When it happens, we can then read backup, always read backup, just in case something goes wrong and we need to clone the ECU, we can physically actually clone the ECU so that we can swap them between vehicles, things like that. Because in this world, things do happen and there's always a solution. Yep. And as you can see, it's reading all the data for us. So once that data is all read, We'll obviously modify the file to whatever the customer is wishing, whether it be EGR tuning, whether it be boost, fueling, it's up to the customer. Um, we we'll also do file service. So if you're anywhere around Australia and you're chasing one of these wiring harnesses and you're looking for an Australian built high performance file that is dyno tested, that we do R&D every single day on our dyno to ensure that we get the best possible safe result out of the cars. 
then you're just going to give us a call at Diesel Smart or go straight onto our website and we'll be able to help.